Hi, it's Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solution with this week's Tip of the Week. Now, how many of you have come into a situation where you've got uh, a certain parameter or an attribute in a pro engineer Creo parametric model and you want to preset values it can take on? You don't want the user to just type in anything. Well, there's a way around that. It's called the restricted value definition. First of all, let's just open up in our regular environment. Let's just create a part. not even going to bother with any geometry here. I'm going to go straight into the tools, create a parameter, and let's say, you know, I've got a few canned parameters in here already, but let's say I wanted to create one called material. And this is going to be a string parameter, some sort of text. Now as soon as I enter that, there's nothing that's really forcing the user to even make it a string. They could make it a real number and, you know, enter a number. If I even get them to, to uh, do that as the right type of value, I can type in, you know, the supplier, the materials, Bob, uh, Bob's uh, discount aluminum, let's say. And maybe that's not one of our approved vendors. So there's really nothing to stop people from doing uh, whatever they want as far as parameters go. So I'm going to close Creo Parametric and explain a couple things about how we do that. There's a text file called a restricted value file. And what this is basically doing, it's got some canned formatting at the top, but in each of these sections, it's saying, okay, I've got a parameter called vendor. It's a string parameter. The default value is this. The rest of the legal values the user can enter are this. And we've got a comma that just tells us another one is coming. And in these brackets, start a new one. I got a parameter called material. It's a string parameter. The default value is this type of aluminum, but the, it can take on these other values as well. Now, this has to be active when I launch Creo Parametric. So, on the right hand side, I've got my configuration file. I've got a line commented out restricted value definition, restricted val definition, and I just point to where I'm storing this file. So, let's save that. Let's relaunch Creo Parametric. We're going to fire it up. We're going to do the same kind of thing, just create a, a simple empty part. So let's do that. Now with that active, I'm going to go into the tool section. I'm going to go to my parameters. And let's go in and say, let's create that material parameter. As soon as I type in material and hit enter, you notice it automatically locks it down as a string. There are my preset values I can pick. And if I add another parameter for a vendor, as soon as I hit enter, it presets that for me. And that is something, again, we call restricted value. And there the check bark is on for restriction. This has to be active when we create these parameters. So a lot of people will put this restricted value uh, file in action, then create their start parts from that. So their template models have that built in. So naturally now you're asking, well, great, I've got existing models. How do I enforce that? Funny you should ask. Let's go to an existing model we have. And I'll show you how that happens. Some of you may recognize this uh, assembly from previous tip of the week, but I've got a few models in here that say already had those parameters active. So let's go into maybe this uh, O-ring part and open that up. Now if I look in his parameters, and we'll expand this a skosh, you can see that. I've got that material and vendor, but you notice there's no restriction to these at all. But if I go up to the tools menu, I can update my restricted value definition. I can say, go out and look for that file, look for that setting. Once I do that, it knocks them down so I can pick my existing values. Let's say that's going to be a rubber part. And I can pick my value for that as well. So again, it's still possible to fix these things after the fact and have them see that updated restrictive value definition. Now if you have any questions on this tip 
or anything else regarding Creopatra, Creoparametric, uh, go ahead and contact me or anybody uh, on the EAC staff. Or if you'd like, leave a comment right in the comments section under the video where you're watching this. Thanks and have a great rest of your day.